So hi and welcome everybody. Um, I'm currently doing a fire burst uh, character, which is pretty unique in itself. Just a good skill tree if you're just interested in that. I'm gonna do a map showcase later on, but first I'm gonna talk about uh, fire burst in itself. It's a skill that is a spell AOE and fire I think those are the tags on it and when you hit with anything a attack a spell uh, it has a chance of uh, then casting fire burst on the target you hit so if there was a target over here and I hit that target and it triggered fire burst it's gonna do a small AoE or well, a big AoE. We don't have any numbers on the actual AoE of Firebust. It seems to be decently large. Uh, definitely larger than this mat here. But we don't have any numbers on it. But it does feel pretty good. So I would assume it's kind of like the fireball uh, explosion radius. We don't really know. So this bowcraft is very overkill and this took a lot of man hours to craft. So we got the fire bass there and we got two delve mods on there. So we got the elemental damage and we got the fire pen on there. Also crafted on 5% reduced damage taken over time to run righteous fire. I'm gonna go over that uh, in a bit. So this bow was crafted with a Glyphic, a Scorched, and a Pristine. And, and it took about 7 Glyphics. In Hardcore at the moment, Glyphics go for like uh, 160C to 170C. So it was pretty expensive to do this craft. Uh, this is on a item level 1 bow which means that it it blocks out a lot of the elemental modifiers so we can't get for example a cold damage on it we can't get lightning damage added to attacks and uh, we can get fire damage and um, you can check what uh, mods it blocks out on poe affixes uh, it blocks out quite a lot so having a item level one crude bow uh, makes it very easy to get these mods or well easier it's not it's not at all easy uh, the colors I got on it I just chromed and so a crude bow doesn't seem to have I'm gonna go over the links in a bit so crude bows doesn't seem to have any uh, Dex requirement as normal bows have, but I actually have a hidden 14 uh, Dex requirement, which means that it's not very easy to get the off colors. It's probably around 1200. Uh, Verici calculator says it's around one, uh, 1700, but I think 1200 is closer to it. So the links to fire burst is control destruction. It is a spell, and we do not go crit on it, so it doesn't matter. Combustion is just there because there is no other support. <laughs> Combustion is the best support. It gives twenty nine percent more fire damage. Uh, because we have element of focus, we don't actually ignite, so we do not get the bonus from the from the last line there which is a bit of a shame but elemental focus is just good we have to have this one uh, then we got fire pen of course fire pen is amazing increased area of effect switched out for concentrated area of effect I got this in my inventory because of this I'm gonna show you that later uh, so for bosses we just switch that out easy peasy then we got iron will which is the last link 
this isn't entirely necessary if you want to you can have life leech I'm currently leveling this this is also gonna go in my inventory when it's level 20 and um, but for example because of the way that slayer works uh, we got most of our where's it there it is. <clears throat> we got most of our leech from overkill which means that for example elder guardians it's a pain in the ass because uh, we can't leech from them because they don't spawn ads for some reason ggg please add ads to the elder guardian fight thank you uh, so we just switch to life leech instead of iron will it loses like 20k i think damage it's not like the end of the world but it's uh, a small bit of damage but we are gonna go with our map clearing setup like this uh, to run this uh, this orchard tier 10 um, to proc fire burst we need any hit so in this build we're using ball lightning spell echo fast casting and arcane search arcane search being level 8 requires 41 mana spent ball lightning is level 10 which is 42 mana cost so every time we cast it we get arcane surge we get spell damage and cast speed which increase the average damage of fire burst which is pretty neat and we cast it very fast because there's a sports on it and it gives us about 30 hits per second while we spam it which means that when fire burst comes off cooldown it got 0 0.5 second cooldown it takes on average 0 0.3 seconds to proc it which means the proc rate is around 0 0.8 seconds which is very slow and i think fire burst if it had a maybe increased chance to proc or just lower uh, cooldown it could be a better skill right now it's just kind of mediocre and the amount of money you can put into it doesn't really reflect the damage you get out of it so that's a bit of a shame so next thing I want to talk about is righteous fire we got righteous fire on a helmet it's not essence crafted uh, so Righteous Fire is being kept up by Super Leech, or Slay Leech, or Over Leech, we got a lot of names, but Life Leech effects are not removed the full life, so that's pretty good, okay, that's pretty good, you get, I don't know the exact numbers, but like 40 or 50% of your life regen a second, uh, when you got the Over Leech going, so it keeps up righteous fire more than fine we have enough region over the righteous fire region to just region anything really and that's just linked to efficacy we got a little of focus and burning damage yeah so it's just an I is efficacy actually yeah it does I was confused yeah <laughs> oh, yeah uh, so the RS we have is Herald of Ash as fire burst hits like a truck the, um, the overkill burn uh, helps in clear uh, if for example a rare would uh, survive the fire burst it would probably die from the burn if a normal monster was near it uh, it's gonna burn for quite a lot we got purity of fire because it essentially just gives us like region because we decrease the degen of righteous fire so that's pretty good other than that we're kind of starved in links so we just got blink arrow and then we got an enduring cry here um, the blink arrow is decently decent to go around we also got leap slam which is pretty neat 
So yeah, let's um, without further ado do an orchard map. I'm gonna be explaining a bit. The fruit that grows from bloody ground tastes the sweetest. Yes, Shaper. Probably does. So you wanna kill some packs before and then you wanna activate your righteous fire. And then it just works. Nicely. You just cast a ball lightning into a pack and hope that the righteous uh, or the firebird gods are with you and it procs, which is usually always does. And it pretty much one shots anything. If we can get a crit of ball lightning. We can see that we got elemental overload, which pumps that up to quite a lot of damage. Of Not gonna be super, super OCD about clearing this map. <laughs> I'm gonna take that Emperor's luck though. God, stop giving me stuff. I'm trying to make a video. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, we got Wall Righteous Fire as well. So we proc that for bosses pretty much. Yeah, as a slayer we also get Onslaught, which increases the cast speed, which is pretty neat. Boss should be up here somewhere. Down here. Where, where did this guy go off to? Fucking spiders. And that was pretty much just the RF killing that dude because Firebirds decided to not proc. So here we go, this girl. Forgot to... Yeah, we don't need a commercial at the moment. Thank you Twitch. So I forgot to switching conk effect there, but the kill speed isn't anything like amazing, even with the bow that I got, but it's decent. It should be able to do guardians and stuff, just because of how tanky it is. Like you could probably push the damage up, but I'm on hardcore, so. I kind of wanted to get a higher life pool. I'm gonna go over the, the, the tree uh, after the map clear and that's kind of it. I think you got the idea of the build. I didn't clear this nicely at all. Still more than 50, it's probably the freaking spiders everywhere. There we go, 30 monsters remaining. So I'm gonna go over the skill tree. So this is a, am I? 91 at the moment. But yeah, uh, on the skill tree, we pretty much take life. All packed is a big thing. Um, jewels we take a lot off because we want a chance to knock enemies back on hit which pretty much just applies to our ball lightning so at the moment we got six, 17 percent chance to knock enemies back and it's enough on most things to keep them like back 
They can still walk at us, but it doesn't do too much. Other than that, we just want life on them. Maybe some spell damage. Spell damage and life isn't too expensive. If you want life and fire damage, however, that's very expensive um, because RF dudes really want those jewels. Uh, so a spell damage and the max life is very good. Here we again just got life, knockback and some resistances. Um, here we got a lower life roll but two damage mods. Just some knockback. The crit multi doesn't do anything. It's just for life and knockback. And just life and stuff. Yeah. And then we got element overload and elemental equilibrium. Uh, so it's very important that you keep clear of getting any damage to spells, like fire damage to spells. If you were thinking about running, for example, anger aura, don't do that because it would mess up EE and elemental equilibrium gives a lot of damage so I would suggest that and then it's just pretty much just fire damage some fire pen AOE, AOE damage elemental damage some spell damage, some cast speed cast speed so last thing I want to do is gear uh, so just strength because we got iron will in here and strength gives us life which gives us damage on righteous fire so at the moment we're sitting at 483 life or strength uh, we got a sticking wise which so is life and the resist and some strength strength Life, resistance, moving speed, strength, life, resistance, you get the point. Um, for uniques, we have a Melanie's Nightfall. Um, this is the best quiver if you don't kind of want to, you know, do bows at all. Just create a smoke cloud when we're hit and it increases damage if they're. If they are blinded, gives scale stress and max life and attack speed. It's just decent all around. A good rack with a, with more life and more resistances could be preferable. But I like the smoke cloud. It helps in some cases. We get a chaos heart. Yeah, that's self-explanatory life again. Fire damage. It's just nice. Aventus, you don't need this at all. I just found this. It's decent life and resistances with the rarity in quant. Yeah. And that's it for uniques for the build. Of course, the, this can be considered a unique. I don't think there's any other, other of these on the market. Um, if you just want to do like testing on this build and don't want to get this bow, I was using. Let's see what they are in crafting, I think. I was using these bows, which is just Fire Burst. I just took an Essence of Hysteria uh, and I chromed it first. So yeah, something like this is also fine for up to like probably tier 13, tier 14 maps. Uh, this is not really required to do like guardians and stuff. I think you can do it on these as well. But yeah, that's it for the gear. Got this jewel in here as well, it's just life. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, uh, the weapon swap is just Sprite Beak with pr Prismatic Eclipse. Because of the huge region we have. Oh yeah, I can do a pretty cool showcase uh, in the Blood Aqueduct. Because we hit so damn hard. 
Uh, we can sustain RF for quite some time. So one pack like that, we just eat it. We activate RF. An orb of oh. immense power. Well, look at that, you can just farm currency. Yeah? Easy. <laughs> uh, orb of... Those are quite rare, so you're not gonna get that. I did this to like get... Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> a video here so yeah ran out of mana it's fine so the RF stays on just killing one pack for like a minute two minutes so sustaining RF with the overreach is no problem at all and when you're doing a boss, you can have RF up without a problem. Which is very cool. It's a very interesting character. Uh, RF Slayer can be done in many, many ways. This is just one. And I think this is uh, the most successful version of it. So thank you for watching and uh, hope you liked it, hope it gave some inspiration, maybe some food for thought and uh, there is RF going, I'm going to town because I don't want to die, bye.